Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bradley Varako, Zuri African social media platforms. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. And we finally hit 1.5 subscribers. I'm not sure if I said that in my previous vlog or not, but thank you, thank you guys so, so much for watching my channel, and thank you guys so much for subscribing. I see you, and I appreciate your support. So, as you can tell from the title, today we are doing a Q&A about teaching online or teaching when I talking I'm going to be answering some of the questions I received from my Instagram and also I'm going to be answering some of the questions I received from my YouTube comment sections under the videos that I uploaded that talk about online teaching so the first comment I received I'm just gonna read it now I have my laptop with me here and the comments are right here so I'm just gonna read it quickly to you guys it says hey queen could you pop a video regarding your introduction video you did perhaps you could make it a collab with the video itself okay so I am going to include my introduction video um, in this video but I would include it at the end of the video I've also received comments about how to do your introduction video what you need to do your introduction video how you film and all that stuff so how you film your introduction video is in this landscape um, way so if your phone is like this you turn your phone this way and you film yourself that way so that's how you do your introduction video and in your introduction video you need to um, mention your name where you live your age and um, what you'll be teaching the people on italki so i will include the video at the end of this video so i'm not going to make this q a video very long so that I, you guys will have time to view the other part of the introduction video that i'm talking about okay and then the next question is is it possible for me to apply on italki using my cell phone i've been struggling to apply on italki and the website does not allow me so you can't apply to italki using your phone you can only apply to italki using a laptop or a computer or a pc or whatever you know those things are the same things but yes you can only apply to italki using your pc or your computer so you need to go to the www.italki.com website using a pc or a computer so and if you don't have a pc or a computer you can try and opt to go into the internet cafe and uh, use the internet cafe to apply to italki that way and then when you are approved and you can start teaching on italki then you can teach with your phone okay so the next set of questions that i received and the one that i receive more frequent is is italki still hiring hey i tried applying for italki they say they're not taking teachers hey do you know if um italki is still open to taking community tutors are they still open for new applications guys i do not know okay i genuinely do not know but on the website of italki it states that every monday they open new languages to teach that's what it says i'll try and find a screenshot or i'll take a picture of my uh, computer and i'll show you it says that every monday they open new languages so i do not know when they'll open english specifically but they say that they open languages every monday so what you need to do basically is just every now and then go on the website and check go on the website and check that's what i did when i started applying for um these online teaching jobs i would just go on the website every day every now and then like constantly keep checking i know it's annoying to do something like that and it's not nice but like i mean if you are serious about it you kind of do that that's what i did personally so i do not know and also i received a comment this morning someone saying that i should email italki on their behalf and ask because they have been trying and nothing has been happening i can't do that guys like i don't work for italki i don't work for italki like that you know like i'm not in there accepting um new applications and all that stuff i am just a tutor on the website so i basically work for them like that but i don't work for like the hiring team or whatever so i know nothing about that so if you want information you can go on the website and actually check for yourself like it i don't think it's fair for you to ask me to do that for you or you keep asking me if they still open they still open that means that i have to take like time out and stop what i'm doing and go on the website and check for you and also it is a bit tricky for me to go on the website because i'm already like signed up so for me to go on the other side of the website where like i still sign up to become a tutor and all that stuff like it's just like a roundabout way so i've already provided you guys like so much information already so you can also do your due diligence and actually like do a bit more research about that also my other thing is that guys italki is not the only online teaching platform that is there yes i know i spoke about it and i raved about it a lot but like it's not the only teaching website that is there 
Hey, Zuri, I hope you're good. Which teaching platforms are you using? Is it italki or is it Cambly? I teach on italki, obviously, but there are other teaching websites. There are other teaching platforms that you can go on. I've mentioned a few. I told you guys about the website. I'm just gonna put it right here. I forgot the name of the website, but I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can go to this website. I think it's like OT Jobs or something. You can go to this website. It will show you uh, teaching websites that you guys can apply to that do esl teaching that you guys can apply to specifically for south africans that you can join and teach um english on there and also the ones that i do know about obviously speaking from my own research are nova kid preply or preply i don't even know how they say that um, word and Cambly. so i did research on the four nova kid uh, preply or preply <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's probably um, and Nova kid and Cambly and I talk you obviously those are the four that I was genuinely interested in teaching at so I did research on those um, specific companies I know nothing more about like Nova kid really and probably but like they're similar ish to I talk you so if you guys are really really interested you can do your own research watch YouTube videos um, go on their website read reviews do all those things then you can know which website you want to teach on and you can apply to that one i know how frustrating it is right now when you're trying to apply for something and you feel like you don't know enough information about the thing but i went i watched youtube videos i watched um i read reviews i watched anything under the sun that told me about online teaching and what i needed to do how i needed to do it and all that stuff so it is possible don't worry you'll get there but you just need to do your own research you can't rely on me to keep like feeding you information because there's some things i also don't know do you meet any like weirdos on the website no i haven't met any weirdos on the website i have met maybe two students who were very aggressive one from india one from china um but since those two experiences no i haven't met anyone um who is doing other weird things but generally my experiences on the platform has been positive or have been positive and there hasn't been anything like strange or out of the ordinary and all that stuff like no one shows me anything like people know that they're there to learn english and that's what they come with the intention to do like the other two experiences that i told you about is that the person that i was teaching or the two people that i was teaching um they got frustrated by uh, not knowing how to pronounce the words properly and they got like angry so i had to like remain calm and not get upset with them and all that stuff so but besides that no i haven't met any weirdos i don't know about other people's experiences this is my personal experience personally i have not met anyone that is strange weird or want to do anything else but um learn english now, the next comment on youtube says uh, hey Zuri, I love your vlog so much. I heard you say your Wi-Fi is very strong. Can I ask which one do you use? Yes, so we are on fiber <laughs> Please, I'm gonna speak out of my you know bump right now, but I know that we're on fiber and the company that we are with is called web Africa so my boyfriend is the one that handles like the Wi-Fi stuff, but as you guys can see here right there this is the router of that web africa thingy so we are on fiber i'm not sure if there's a difference between fiber and adsl line or whatever but like we pay i think 700 rand or 650 a month and it's very very good like internet so my laptop as you guys can see let me just show you quickly my laptop is connected you see this yellow uh, thing i'm not using i'm not like on the wi-fi i'm on the actual internet which makes my uh computer speed or internet speed very fast so that's <laughs> that's the internet i'm on okay and then someone also asked about the connection they say that their application got rejected because their connection was weak or they keep saying that their connection is weak so if you feel like your connection is weak try and work around it somehow you know like if you can go to like a friend's house or try and plug in instead of using the wi-fi plug in the internet cable thingy to your i don't even know what it's called the internet cable thingy to your laptop or your computer and try like use the internet connection speed test through that instead of using the wi-fi because when i tried applying to another company also they told me that my uh, wi-fi speed was very uh slow so i couldn't go through or move further with the application because my internet connection was not uh, strong enough so if you have something like that do that instead of using it over the wi-fi you know but yeah i hope i'm making sense i don't think i'm making sense but i hope i'm making sense <laughs> but yes yes like that what happens when someone does not understand you so on italki i don't know about other um teaching platforms but specifically on italki 
when you open your classroom thing and you're in the class and you're teaching there are a couple of icons there at the bottom right you'll see one that says translate one that gives you like talking ideas in case you run out of things to say or ask your students they actually do provide you with like talking points ideas down there so there's one for translation and one for that and one for other other stuff so you can press on the translate you can say english to whatever language your student is um, speaking in or their native language you can just write what you want to say it will translate it into their language and you can just like copy and paste that into the chat and they can see what you're trying to say to them if they don't understand you i had a student that would like couldn't understand me really and i had to use the translator um app thing or feature that is in the website but i really have to use it because most of the people that come to learn english on italki already have a little unless if they're maybe children i've had like children um students who didn't really know a lot of english so i had to like start from like ground zero so i just teach them what to say instead of like expecting them like to have a conversation with me but for adults most adults most not all of them like most adults come there with like very basic level english so they know how to say hello how are you my name is this person and they know like when you say oh where do you live or where do you stay or what do you do for work so they know like those specific questions so but if you do struggle there is that little feature right there that i told you about that is like it says translator or translate then you can just open it's like google translate basically but it's in the website or in the classroom in the italki classroom another question i also received is do they give you what to teach no guys they don't <laughs> unfortunately they genuinely don't they don't give you what to teach you have to figure it out yourself i always say that this is my advice okay and it's carried me till this far okay so when you meet a new student instead of like just you know beating around the bush and like trying to figure out like what's going on ask them obviously like let me just give you an example i would be like hello my name is bradley it's nice to meet you where are you from and then we'll start talking and i'll be like okay how would you like me to help you in terms of learning english and then they'll tell me oh i struggle with pronunciation or i struggle with like i just want to learn basic conversation or i just want to learn I don't know like grammar or I just want to know how to read or I just want to sound more natural when speaking English. So whatever it is that they tell you they want you to help them with, that's where you go from. So if they tell you okay, grammar, you know you have to teach them grammar. If they tell you oh I struggle with pronunciation. So every time they you give them like news articles to read and then you listen to them when they um say specific words and then when they say the word wrong, you just correct the word. Obviously like you and your student will have like your balance and on how you guys go about the class but that's how you do it so i talk it does not give you teaching material at all you have to figure it out by yourself so yeah but i heard on cambly they do give you so yeah and then another person said i'm in lesotho i'm wondering if it won't give me problems i am not sure how to answer that because i am not in lesotho but again guys they are specific countries or countries there's a country list yes there then that's the uh, proper way to say it. there's a country list so the list of the countries that they put there are the countries that are allowed or are accepted to teach on these teaching um platforms so you can just go there look for your country and see if okay they take Lesotho or okay they take Namibia or okay they take like I don't know what other country are <laughs> I don't know what other country you guys <laughs> are watching from but yes just check um on the website like the country list that they accept to teach on their uh, websites and stuff and then you can go from there so I don't think you have problems if your country is there and you can apply from that country can I teach with my cell phone I already said yes to that one I'm not sure if I answered that question but yes you can teach with your cell phone you just can't apply with your cell phone so you can teach with your cell phone but you can apply with your cell phone then the next question is what are the working hours so there are no specific working hours you control your own schedule you control your own time you control when you are available so if you want to be available for 1 hour a day that's fine you can do that if you want to be available from uh, morning until at night then you can do that obviously i have a specific goal personally i have a specific goal of how much money i want to make per day and i also have a specific goal of how much money i want to make uh per week so that's why my schedule starts the way it starts so my schedule starts from 5 a.m until 9 p.m so a day like yesterday i taught classes until 9 p.m and i started teaching classes 
early in the morning again at like I woke up at 4 a.m. to catch my 5 a.m. class so I'll start from there and I'll have classes until 9 p.m. so you can control how you're available or how you avail yourself on these websites so yeah there's no strict hours even though I know some websites require you to work maybe per hour they pay you this much or whatever no on italki you get paid per lesson so if i have one lesson to them i'm gonna get money for that one lesson even if it's for 30 minutes i'll still get the money i charge for that 30 minutes what app do you use to teach okay so i use the italki classroom so in the website there is like a video chatting feature or video call feature so it's called italki classroom i use that and then if the italki classroom because sometimes you know like technology and you know technical difficulties and stuff like that whatever does happen sometimes so if that does fail i use google meet so as of recent if you guys have been watching my vlog you've been seeing that i've been using google meet because sometimes italki has been giving me problems or my students internet has been not so great on italki so it can't handle um italki but it can handle like google meet so we'll have google meet um i also use skype so those are the two things i'll say okay italki classroom and skype and then another one I've used, um, you can use Zoom. There's a there's a list um, when you do the final tutorial for Italki and what you need to do as a teacher, blah 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 blah. They will tell you there's a list. There's a long list of like apps you can use to actually teach um, Italki from. But as long as you're doing your lesson and your student confirms, and it's fine. You don't have to do it on the Italki um, website, but obviously it still needs to be within the time and all that stuff. But yeah those are the for me personally i use skype and google meet and i talk it last do i need all my equipment right away no you do not need all your equipment right away like i said guys i already had a laptop for um university stuff so i had my laptop and i also used my you know those phone earphones you get from your phone when you buy the phone so that is what i used at first and sometimes i've used my phone and my phone's earphones basically that was it nothing else i didn't buy anything else and also in terms of equipment i didn't really buy equipment for online teaching remember like i have been doing youtube now for like what a year or or so whatever um so i already had like a tripod and all those things and blah 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 so i bought that for youtube i didn't buy this for that but if you do want to buy a tripod guys they do sell cheap tripods on take a lot you can go buy a cheap uh buy a cheap tripod on take a lot but my advice would be wait until you get paid by the website before you start investing in equipment you know so you don't have to buy everything right away at first wait until you get paid then you can buy so for me when i got paid for the first time i went to go buy those noise um cancelling headphones that's it that's all i bought actually nothing else so yeah because i wanted like not to hear um anyone else and sometimes when i'm teaching my partner is here like playing computer and all that stuff so i don't want to hear him so that's what i got i just got those noise cancelling headphones so in terms of equipment if you have a phone and some earphones you're good to go and if you have your own room and you can just sit in your own room and like teach the lessons there then you're fine and if you want to buy a tripod you can buy like a small tripod or you can buy a big tripod but they're all like within the range of like 200 rand 100 rand 99 rand depending on the type of tripod that you want but yeah that's that's all but yeah, some people buy like a lot of equipment like UPSs in case of load sharing happens and they have electricity. Um, if you want to buy a new laptop, some people bought a new laptop specifically for this. People buy ring lights, people buy... The I just use natural light. As you guys can see right now, my ring lights broke <laughs> when I moved here and I haven't like replaced any of them. But I use natural light. So I'll sit like here close to the window. I've showed you guys if, for reference, you can go watch some of my vlogs to see. But I use natural light and that's it. And at night, I use this light up there which is the light that uh, lights up the living room. So yeah, no extra equipment, just my headsets. That's what I bought. And the last question is, what do I say in my introduction video? Okay, I already covered the question again um, in the first part of the video, but yes. So right now, I'm just gonna include my introduction video so that you guys can see what I said, uh, how it looks and all that stuff. Please excuse my hair, it was blonde. I regret it, but they took the video they accepted the video and there was no problems and i've been receiving many many bookings with that video so this is what i said you can say whatever it is that you want i'm not saying that this is what you need to say this is how you need to like the way in which you need to say it and all that stuff that's what i did there are many different types of videos that people do on italki you can just go on the website and actually look at other people's videos if you want ideas or you can google how to do an introduction video but this is what i did 
everyone and welcome to our classroom. My name is Bradley. I am 23 years old. I was born in Pomalanga, but I currently reside in East London, South Africa. I am a native English teacher with a bachelor's in education from the University of South Africa. I specialize in English, economics and management science, and life orientation. I know that learning English can be a bit tedious and challenging to some people, but I want you to know that in this classroom, I am going to make learning English fun so that you can feel confident when speaking and learning English. Now, don't be afraid to make mistakes in this classroom because it is through those mistakes that we learn and grow. Now, in this classroom, we'll be focusing on conversational English. Our focus will be on articulation, grammar and punctuation. I look forward to you joining my class. I can't wait to meet you. Book a lesson now. Take care. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope I answered most questions that you guys had. Remember guys, I don't work for italki. So what I say and what I tell you, it's from my experience. So anything I haven't yet experienced, I do not know about. So you just need to do your own research outside of my videos or outside of what I tell you in order for you to do what you need to do. Okay, so yes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any more questions, any more, <laughs> many more other questions that you feel like I did not answer, just drop them down below and I will answer them maybe in a vlog or something like that. Okay, so yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.